Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build and use this horse speedometer. This contraption is survival friendly, easy to build and an easy to use contraption that can calculate the speed of your horse with a fair amount of accuracy. To use this all you need to do is jump on your horse, ride from one side to the other, then check the amount of items in the hopper and then using some math you can calculate the speed of your horse in blocks per second. So let's see this in action. When both lights are off it means it's ready to use. So we jump on our horse and go full speed across the pressure plates all the way to the ones on the other side. Now the test is finished so we can go and see our result which is in this hopper and it is 22. So with a little bit of math we can calculate the speed which is 9.3 blocks per second which is a pretty average horse. So to reset the machine we press the button on this side and then the lamp turns off and when the one on the other side turns off it will be ready to use but we have to let the items drain from this hopper into this dropper and when that's done both the lamps will be off and ready to use again. So if you like the look of this contraption be sure to leave a like and share this video as I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in being able to measure the speed of their horse in survival mode. As you can see here it is fairly resource light and simple to build which is my favourite thing about this contraption. Not only does it measure the speed of your horse but it does it without any crazy redstone or resource intensive materials. So before we jump into the tutorial I want to give you an explanation of how the redstone works and how the speed is calculated. But first of all I'd like to say thank you to Kivan for this wonderful horse track and stables. He made this all just to give us a nice environment to demonstrate the horse speedometer to you. And if you're interested in checking out his builds there is a world download available in the description box so you can hop into his world and check it out for yourself. So the redstone, I've been thinking about the best way to explain this and I think the best place to start is with the way that we calculate the speed. We do that by the amount of items that go from this dropper into this hopper right here. So everything else around this is just to control that and make sure it happens in the right way. So when our test starts, this clock gets activated and when it finishes, this clock stops but it also leaves the items in this hopper right here. So to control all of that we have two T flip flops. They are activated or at least started by the pressure plates at either end and they can only be reset by this button right here which means that this thing is practically impossible to break. You can definitely ruin your test by running around and jumping on the pressure plates in the wrong order but in order to break the entire machine it's not possible. Every time you press this button right here you're going to reset the machine all of the items are going to drain from this hopper back into the dropper. So when we walk on the pressure plates on that side we're going to activate this T-flop flip-flop which turns on the, uh, the clock right here and that pumps out items from this dropper into this hopper at 5 per second which we can then use to calculate the speed and so when we get all the way over to the other side we're going to activate this T flip flop which is going to override that clock by powering this redstone it's also going to unpower this redstone which turns on the torch to indicate that your test is finished because this lamp will be on and so will this one over here because there will be items in your hopper which gets powered like that so then you can check your score because this is going to be powered so none of the items will leave the hopper and when you're done you press the button over here both the T-flip flops get reset and that means that the items will drain from the hopper into the dropper so this still stays on until there's none left inside that hopper and then you can look at the lamps they're both off and that means it's ready to use but of course we put this in this position deliberately so you can access it from above and take the items out of the hopper and put them into the dropper when you're done with your test. So this redstone contraption, it would not have been possible without help from my buddy Ease. We worked together on this project and we make a great team. This turned out to be much better than anything that I could have imagined and of course that was all possible with his help. So a big thanks to Ease, there is a link to his channel in the description box and now we're going to crack on with the tutorial. So to build this contraption you are going to need an area of land that is 9 blocks wide, 9 blocks deep and can go down by about 4 blocks as well. And inside of that area is where we're going to be building this part of the redstone. So you need to keep it in mind that you're going to have those pressure plates at a distance from wherever you choose to build this part. So you want the land to be relatively flat so that the pressure plates can be easily put on either side. And also you need to run some redstone underground as well. Now one thing to keep in mind is that you can actually increase the distance of the pressure plates from the redstone in the middle. And by doing so you can change the math and increase the accuracy of the speed calculated and to do that you don't need to change any of the redstone in the middle so that's something you might want to consider when picking a location for this middle bit. 
Now to build this you are going to need 15 pieces of redstone, 2 redstone torches, 2 redstone comparators, 2 redstone repeaters, 4 pistons, 2 droppers, a hopper, a button, a block of redstone, 16 building blocks, 7 half slabs and 2 redstone lamps. So we're going to start off by building some of the redstone that controls the lamps on either side and this one over here already has a button on it so remember to do that then go down by two blocks down below and place a piston on either side facing outwards and then opposite from that another piston so there's two blocks between each of those like that so a block on this side and on this side over here you want a block of redstone then behind it you're going to put a half slab there and another one there and then we will put a regular block there and there and then we can run redstone across it like this and put a torch at the top which is going to turn off the lamp after turning it on so then underneath that lamp put a piece of redstone and a block in front of it like this then over on the other side we're going to place a block there another one down here and then another two blocks and on this one we're going to put a piece of redstone on this one a comparator facing into that block then a dropper facing this way and a hopper facing into the dropper like so so for the second part of constructing this redstone we want to go down here and place a block in these two positions then put three blocks to the side of it like so then another block there and there and one over at that height and now we can place the half slabs so one of them goes down here the next one goes in this position and then we need another four to the side of it like this so then put a repeater here a repeater here then we can put down some redstone so put it on top of all of these half slabs going all the way across here and then on top of this block is where we place our comparator we want to put that in subtract mode and behind that we want to put a redstone on the side of this block then when we've done that the last thing to do is to place a dropper on this block here and the only thing this dropper does is make a noise so if you want to hear that clicking noise when you race your horse over the top then leave the dropper in if you don't want to hear it just replace that with a regular block but that is this part of the redstone complete so to finish this off all we need to do now is fill in the blocks above this contraption like so so now you'll see it will become flush with the ground we'll do the same thing on this side over here and then we need to wire up the redstone on the side that links up to the pressure plates and I'm not going to do a block by block reconstruction because all of this right here is fairly straightforward but the ground level over here is at this height in this little bit that's because when we built this we had a border around the outside so if you wanted to make this flush then you could do that by just lowering down the redstone down by one block but it's very simple the repeater here powers all of that redstone and it gets its power from this block from this redstone that's powered by the pressure plates up here so all you need to do is build that on either side of the contraption and then it's finished so time for the math for those of you that don't know how to calculate speed you take the distance traveled and divide it by the time taken to travel that distance so the distance here is 43 blocks and the time is calculated using the items so for every second that passes the dropper puts five items into the hopper so to calculate the amount of seconds passed we take the items and divide it by five then we can take the distance traveled which is 43 and divide it by the time which gives us our average blocks per second now the accuracy of this is limited by the distance of the track the faster your horse is the less accurate the result will be so if you build a longer track it will increase the accuracy of your speed but for every extra repeater that you used you will need to add 0.1 to the amount of items you get in your hopper and that will compensate for the extra delay caused by the repeater so calculating the speed of horses wouldn't have been possible without help from Wubby of the Zip Crowd server and Wubby has an excellent video on horses. If you are interested in learning everything there is to know about them then be sure to check out his video. But that is it for this one. Again a lot of people helped me with this so a big thanks to Wubby, to Kivan and Ease. There are links to all of them in the description box down below where you can also find a link to download this world right here which includes the stuff from the tutorial in the void world. But that is it for this video. I had a lot of fun working on this horse speedometer project. I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.